at the base of Marmot Point here with my friend Travis came in from KC we're gonna hike to the top of this right there Marmot Point it's gonna be a 0.4 mile hike up 349 feet elevation gain and we're gonna top out at 11,909 feet trail going up to Marmont Point is loaded with these yellow and blue purple wildflowers. They're everywhere. There's also marmots everywhere too. There's two guys right there looking at me. We're at the top of Marmot Point, and there are just lots of clouds around, and that looks like an active volcano or something. <laughs> that looks crazy. And then you got Long's Peak back there in the right. It's kind of hidden by clouds as well. You can see the road we came up, Fall River Road. Connects right there, heads up to the Visitor Center. That's the way you have to exit out. It's a one-way road up, and then up there you connect with Trail Ridge Road, take it on down. On the right, you have Chapin. On the left, Chiquita. Move over here, Ypsilon's up in the clouds. And then you got Desolation Peaks to the left of that. And if you want to continue on this ridge, you'll end up at Flatiron way out there. Behind Chapin Chiquita Ypsilon, you got Chapin Creek down there. There's a nice close up of Desolation Peaks. I tried to climb across those one time. Nope. Coming down Marmot Point, and the car's just down there. A few more feet. Now we're going to head up to the visitor center. And right there, it's going to be Marmot Point where we just went up.
We're up here at the Alpine Visitor Center at the top of Trail Ridge Road. And it's snowing. And here it is about two in the afternoon. We're at the Moraine Visitor Center on the other side. It's snowing at the top of Trail Ridge Road, but the weather seems really nice here for the moment. We might get rained on doing this hike. We might not. I'm hoping we can pull it off, but we're going for that right there. Eagle Cliff, about a 750 foot gain. Last time, I didn't take the main trail up, kind of bushwhacked my way. It was a lot harder, so this is a new way up. Hopefully this is the correct way, the easiest way. Jesus. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, people. We are on the verge of a hike fail right now. I mean, this is like crisis level red. We're about ready to hike fail. Unless I can uh, figure this out because this is my responsibility. Especially because I've done this one before. But this is what we're dealing with. This is what we've been dealing with for the past 20, 30 minutes. I think we want to head up right here. Shit. We have managed to hike to the base of the cliffs here. If we can skirt around this right side, we might be good to go. If the only way up is around the left side, we're screwed. And it's going to be officially a hike fail. But I'm not giving up yet. I'm not giving up yet. yesterday and today we're over here on Eagle Cliff and we're about ready to summit this
Yeah, Eagle Cliff Summit. This was not a hike fail, it's a hike success. That was the hard way, no doubt. We got it. It's like coming up, we were so deep into the trees, the fallen trees, and we were so up high that turning around would have been a lot harder than getting to the top and then finding the easier way down. So we kept on, we kept on, and we got up there. That was awesome. And there's Eagle Cliff. We just came down the majority of the elevation, and now we're on this road. So we're hoping this is just a nice, easy hike all the way back to Moraine Visitor Center. down off Eagle Cliff. And even though we went the easiest way down, it was long. And that's just a confusing hike. There's no way I can explain the right set of trails to take to get to the top. It's impossible. It's a, it's a bunch of social trails. You pretty much gotta aim for the summit and just hike up. That's two days, two successful hikes, two awesome days. Until the next one, y'all. Peace.